Yes, I'm doing me. I thought I would do a quick profile on Max's models. I mean, why not? I used to make models, sort of. I'll explain. Back in 1997, I was a first officer on a Beach 1900D regional or commuter airliner for Mesa Airlines based in Panama City, Florida. And I had a nice schedule. I was either getting up early in the morning and being done before two in the afternoon, or I was coming to work at two in the afternoon and flying into the night. But it was essentially just five days on, two days off. And the paycheck was, the paycheck was $248 a week after taxes, which was $2 a week less than I'd taken home on unemployment. So yay commuter airlines, but it was an apprenticeship. I was getting a lot of multi-engine turbine time and all kinds of weather. And the 1900 didn't have an autopilot, so everything was hand flown. I was probably never a sharper pilot than the day I made my last flight in that airplane, at least not as a stick and rudder man. Anyway, I had a fair amount of time on my hands and at $248 a week, really not much that I could go out and do that wasn't free. So I decided since in 97, 98, the internet commerce was just getting kicked off that I would look into remarketing models. And I went to a couple places, Miami, I believe Pan Am was a wholesaler. I got my little business license and I, I literally went down there in person went through the facility, just grabbing all kinds of stuff, put it on the credit card, came back, set up my Max's Models website on YouTube and started selling them. But I, uh, before that, when I was based up in Presque Isle, Maine, I'd started collecting the little, uh, long prosper, uh, airliners. These were, they're not kit models or the models you just stick the wings on and they're all pre-painted in their, their desktop display. And they got me intrigued in desktop display models. So Max's Models started selling these things. Most of them I got from Daron or the airplane shop. And what I was really doing was just remarketing other people's stuff. Go buy a bunch of kit models, sell them. Or in many cases, I had it set up with a credit card processor. So someone would order the model from me. I would send the order to the airplane shop and they would drop ship it straight to the person. So I made 10 to $20 without ever even seeing the model. Didn't make a lot of sales. There were about a hundred other people doing the same thing. I tried to keep my price as low as I could. Uh, I was actually selling them well below the actual uh, manufactured, manufacturer suggested repro price MSRP uh, by probably 10 or $15. So I sold a few, but the problem was visibility. After a while, uh, I got relocated to a, another facility. Uh, I went onto the jet actually and got relocated up to Columbus. And I uh, didn't worry about, uh, trying to take the business with me. I just kind of, I kept the business license so I could buy models and resell them if I wanted to, but it didn't really make any money. It was more of a, just kind of be honest, a cheap way to get models. But I got in contact with a fellow in the Philippines uh, who went by the name Topwood and he was uh, in Caloocan City near Manila and he made these hand carved models, a few of which I still have, but inventory I didn't sell. But he made them individually and I would try to buy them five or ten at a time so there'd be a small small amount of uh, uh, economy of scale but it was the same price but when they came to the US these models normally sold for about hundred and fifty dollars and I would sell them to fellow airline pilots for about a hundred hundred and twenty which was sometimes even less which I was probably paying forty five dollars a piece for them plus shipping so after all the grief of running the website and everything I probably cleared ten dollars but I was doing this for the love of models not because I was trying to make money, although I did do the quarterly tax filings. So after a while, I actually looked at what about if I had my own models produced? And I had contacted a couple of the companies that made them, but it, for a small plastic desktop display model from someone like Worcester or Long Prosper, it was $3,500 to set up the mold and you had to commit to 1,500 models at I believe uh, eight or $10 a piece. And I was making $25,000, $30,000 a year. I was buying a house, so that just wasn't gonna happen. I actually wanted to make the Beach 1900. And then you have to get permission from the airlines to use their colors, which it gets into a whole rights thing and it just got out of hand real fast. So I didn't worry about it. I did recently look into what it would take to put into production plastic kit models. And after talking to some people in the business, apparently it runs about $1,500 a part to make a mold made. So if I was gonna have a kit model that had uh, 20 parts, that mold was going to run $30,000. And then you had to have someone who can make it for you or spend 
roughly fifty to a hundred thousand dollars for a machine. You got to learn how to do it. it, it it's not a small undertaking at all. And uh, of course, with uh, my love of uh, kit models, having grown up with them. A while back, I got curious, bought the books from Thomas Graham, did the first couple of videos on Ravel, uh, Aurora, and Monogram, or I just call it Ram for short, Ravel, Aurora, Monogram. And that video languished for a little while. Now, I had been putting build videos, usually just photo montages to some bad music online, just kicks and giggles, artistic expression. And uh, then, of course, the Ram video got some traction. People kept requesting, you guys kept requesting, we'll do this company and do that company. And... I did a couple, and it, this thing just got a little bit of traction. Now, mind you, most of my videos, they, they're all over the place. Some videos have as few as 1,000 views, and some have over 80,000 views. Uh, I think the one I did on Tom Daniels passed 90,000. I, I did one with and one without uh, a, a backing soundtrack, because some people don't like the background music, and some do. And I, I get complaints either way. I actually thought about doing them both ways. Uh, sometimes I get bored, and... Uh, I don't feel like doing all the research. I just want to do something quick and dirty to get it out. Just scratch that creative itch. The same creative itch that's why I build models. And uh, the that's where the box art movies came from. You know, just find a, a soundtrack that most folks would appreciate and find box tops that you can fill into it. But a lot of this is labor of love. Now, I don't monetize anything. I strictly do this because I love kit models. I'm, I'm happy to do it. it keep, between building models and doing the videos, it keeps me sane during the lockdown. And uh, I've got a lot of ideas. Sometimes they come to fruition, sometimes they don't. You folks have sent a lot of great stuff. So uh, that's pretty much the history of Max's models. And perhaps someday if I come into some money, I might actually try to team up with someone like Glencoe or Atlantis or Williams Brothers and see if they could help me get some molds made, probably to make general aviation aircraft that have never been made aircraft. Like the one I learned to fly in, the Luscom, the only model of which I have is a uh, one of the hand carved ones I had made in the Philippines, and it's of the actual airplane I learned to fly in, that my dad taught me to fly in. So that's pretty much it. And a lot of you guys have asked about the T-shirts. Look, if you want to download the logo, make your own T-shirt. Feel free. I didn't copyright it. You guys have fun with it. My wife saw so many requests for T-shirts. She was like, "Well, there's a company that will do the T-shirts, and and you just they handle everything. You just get a little royalty every time." You get like 50 cents or a dollar a t-shirt and they're going to charge you $20 for it. And, uh, but they need all your personal information and the way things have gotten today, I'm a little leery, leery about, uh, putting my social and everything else in there, which they legitimately have to have because it's an income, blah, blah, blah. And you got to declare taxes. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, uh, come on, you guys are model builders. You can handle this. Well, anyway, uh, maybe at some point I'll do it. Uh, and that's pretty much it, I think. That's the whole entire wonderful history of Max's models. So I just finished my physical therapy and I'm in a little shed and I turned off the air conditioner for the sound. So as you probably can tell, I'm sweating a fair bit. Uh, so it's time, it's shower time. So once again, guys, I wanna thank everyone for watching. Uh, I wanna thank you for keeping me honest. And this has been fun. And that's what this is all about, fun. And I hope you're having a good time watching the videos. I want to thank you all again for all the wonderful comments and especially everybody sending uh, good wishes for my, for my recovery from the surgery. Uh, the physical therapy is going well. The surgery went great. My new titanium hip uh, has seen to it that uh, uh, everything is, is the pain is gone from the, from the old problem. Now I just have to get all the soft tissue fixed. So that a couple more months and I should be back at work. And uh, with my new titanium hip i have a tendency to want to re reply to my wife by saying by your command um so uh, for the f for the final time that's it guys thanks for watching as you may have gathered this is totally impromptu and i hope you enjoyed it and we'll see you all next time and please be safe okay i gotta turn the air conditioner back on Whew, man i really stink I see what's happening here. You're faced with greatness, and it's strange. You don't even know what to say. How adorable. Passengers, they never change. 
I understand how you're phased. Just lower your eyes and avert your gaze. I know so many impressive things. The uniform, the hat, the wings. Look at me, but I cannot say. What'd you expect? I'm the captain. You're welcome with a fun in the sky. Hey, it's okay all day. I'm the captain. I'm just a real, real impressive guy. What gets overpaid for zipping through the sky while you have to wait in line at <laughs> this guy? When the ride is rough, who told you to be tough? Because you whined enough. Yeah, this guy. But look at the weather we missed so that you would not get pissed. Also, I can slow down when we're getting bumped around. I do what I can because I'm the captain. Yeah, that's me. I'm the captain. Not everyone you know can fly. That's me. I'm the captain. I pull all these tricks in the sky. There's no need to pray because I'm your captain. I guess it's just the way I fly. Well, now that you mention it, I can keep rambling on about aerodynamic phenomenon, such as the lift that keeps us aloft. That's just a taste of me showing it off. I push up the throttles, I yank back the yoke. Now we are flying, that ain't no joke. Pull up the gear and pull up the flaps. Dial up the radios, whip up my maps. All of the tricks I pull in the sky are there to ensure that none of us die. I yank and I bank as we zip to the clouds, streaking like lightning way over the crowds. It's what I do, cause I'm the captain. I'm just doing my part. Do as I say, cause I'm the captain. Now it's time for us to have heart. I look so awesome, I'm the captain. Don't let me steal your heart. Flying away, cause I'm the captain. And yes, I know, I look really smart. Thanks for flying with us. Remember, wherever your travels may take you, you're in the safe hands of the captain. Yeah, the captain. All right, here's a quick trivia question for you. Am I getting ready to... Am I getting ready to spray paint a model or go grocery shop? A slight little bit on the uh, smaller side. One, two, three, four.